Okay, hello. This time we're going to discuss about graphing linear inequalities in two variables. Our goal here is to graph a linear inequality in two variables. There are some helpful hints in order to graph a linear inequality. The first one, if we're going to use greater than or less than, you're going to use dashed line or a broken line. If the inequalities are greater than or equal to or less than or equal to, you're going to use a solid line. If we're going to use greater than or greater than or equal to, the shaded region goes up or above the line or to the right. If the inequality symbol is less than or less than or equal to, the shaded region will be goes down or below the line or to the left. The graph of a linear inequality is a region called half plane. To further understand this, we are going to consider the first example y is greater than x minus 2, okay? In order to grab the given inequality, we are going to change the sign of inequality symbol by an equal sign. Now we have y equals x minus 2. And then after that, we're going to determine your m. Your m is the slope, and that is the coefficient of x. We do not see any number here. Therefore, it is understood that your m is 1. Your slope is 1. It means 1 rise over 1 run. And your negative 2 as the constant is your y-intercept, which is negative 2. Okay? So in order to graph this, we need to consider or we need to graph first your y-intercept. And your y-intercept is always found along y-axis. So we have here negative 2. Here is your y-intercept. Your slope is positive. Therefore, it is expected that the line rises to the right. Okay? Your slope is 1, meaning 1 rise, 1 run to the right. 1 rise. One run to the right. One rise, one run to the right. Since we're using greater than symbol, meaning we're going to use a dashed line. That is a dashed line. And since the sign of inequality is greater than, therefore, the shaded region is above the line or it goes up okay so it goes up so it is here all the points that are found on this portion of the graph represent the solutions of the given inequality okay so this is the shaded region. Okay. Let us check. Let us try to consider one point that is found on this portion, in this shaded region. Let us try the point... Here, the ordered pair 0 and 0. Is 0, 0 a solution of the given inequality? We're going to plug in y is greater than x minus 2. So you're just going to plug in the value of y. The value of y is 0. Is greater than the value of your x is 0 minus 2. So 0 is greater than 0 minus 2, that is negative 2. Is this statement true? 
is x great is 0 greater than negative 2 yes therefore 0 0 is a solution of the given inequality okay so it's what i have told you the points that are found on this shaded region represent the solution of the given inequality okay the second example our second example is y is less than or equal to one half x plus one so you have there y is less than or equal to one half x plus one again we're going to change the inequality symbol to equal sign now we have y equals one half x plus one and then after that we're going to crop it we're going to determine your slope and your slope is the coefficient of x which is one half meaning one rise over two run since the slope is positive it is expected that the line rises to the right okay and your y-intercept is one so again your y-intercept is found along y-axis so we have now b is one it is here so you have there your slope is one half one rise two run to the right one two one rise two run to the right okay since we're using less than or equal to we're going to use a solid line and since our sign of inequality is less than or equal to then the solution of the given inequality is found below the line or goes down okay so this one again all the points that are found on this shaded region represent the solution of the given inequality. Okay? So if you want to justify if this is really the solution of the given inequality, you're going to assign one ordered pair that is found on this region and let us say zero zero one half times zero that is zero plus one so that is one is zero less than or equal to one yes so therefore this is really the solution okay the next one number three we have here x plus y is less than or less than three i should say x plus y is less than three Again, we're going to change the sign of inequality by equal sign. So we now have x plus y equals 3. We're going to write this in the form y equals mx plus b. So we're going to get the opposite of x, and that is negative x. So we have here negative x on both sides of the equation. So we now have y equals negative x plus 3 and then after that we're going to determine your slope your slope is the coefficient of x and that is negative 1 so it means 1 rise over 1 run to the left okay since the sign of your slope is negative it means that the line falls to the left and your y-intercept is 3. So where is your y-intercept? Again, it is always found along the y-axis. So it is here. Your slope is 1. So 1 rise, 1 run, since it is negative, goes to the left. 1 rise, 1 run. 1 rise, 1 run. And our sign of inequality is less than. Therefore, we're going to use a dashed line. Since the sign of inequality is 
less than. Therefore, the solution of the given inequality or the shaded region is found below the line. Oh my God, I'm sorry. So, all the points that are found on this one shaded region represents the solution. Represent the solution of the given inequality. Okay. So here. Okay, the next one. This time we have here, the given inequality has only one variable, and that is x. x is greater than negative 1. Our variable here is x, therefore we're just going to concentrate on the x-axis. And if you're going to recall, if our variable is x, it is expected that the line is a vertical line. Okay, we're going to locate x greater than negative 1. Negative 1 is here. Okay, again, since our x, a variable is x, it is expected that our line is vertical. And the sign of inequality that we use is greater than. Therefore, we're going to use a dashed line. The symbol is greater than, meaning the shaded region is to the right. That's it. So, all the points that are found here are the solution of the given inequality. Next, we have here. What is the graph of the inequality y is greater than or equal to 2? Okay, so again, in this inequality, we only have one variable, and that is y. Okay, so if it is y, we're just going to concentrate on your y-axis. And as what I have told you before, if it is your, if it is Y, your line is a horizontal line. We're going to locate 2. Your 2 is here. Since we are using greater than or equal to, we're going to use a solid line. Okay? And since it is greater than or equal to, meaning to say the solution is above the line okay so all the points here are the solutions of the given inequality any question